Hello everyone, my name is Anne. I'll be your host today and welcome to Koopa TV. Today I'll be sharing with you how to do a ombre pink and white. I think it's very popular and highly demand and highly requested um, service in the salon right now. So if you're ready, let's get started. So the nail has already been prepped. So next I'm gonna use um, the nail prep one, which is the pH balance. Just apply it on sparingly on entire nail. Then I'm gonna go in with the acid-free primer, prep two. Same sparingly on entire nail. So next I'm gonna use a all infinite form. Since today we're not doing really long nails, so I'm just tear the half part off. Then I'm gonna reinforce the little sticker here to the back. And then I'm gonna pinch just the little bit in together to hold it together. Then I'm gonna form a into shape a little bit and then I'm gonna tuck it underneath the nail. And then I'm gonna hold it and pinch together. And today I'm gonna show you how to do the ombre pink and white with a ballerina nail shape. I think this shape is really trending right now. I love to wear it as well. It's, I think it's very wearable and um, easy to work with. So next I'm gonna use our number eight brush. Start off first, I'm gonna use um, our Divinity White. You wanna pick up about medium size and go straight to the free edge area. The reason I'm flipping the brush backward because I'm going to start to do a little fading. I find that a little bit easier. I'm going to clean the brush and then I'm just going to tuck the, pop, the um, acrylic to the side and you want to press into place with the body of the brush. And since we're doing the ballerina nail shape, which also known as the coffin nail shape, you wanna tug, slightly use the body of the brush and just kinda pull it in a little bit. So later you don't have to shape um, too much on the sides. So next, I'm just gonna pick a little about smaller bead of acrylic, white acrylic. I'm gonna reinforce the tip a little bit more. And then flip the brush and I'm brushing upward. So next, I'm gonna take a medium size um, cover pink. and you don't want to use it too wet. I'm going to place it right in the center. I'm going to press it down. I'm also trying to use the tip of the brush and lightly press it up. Then what I'm going to do, clean my brush and I'm going to press down the sides, smooth it out and fade it down. First you want to use it to brush it down the sides and then the center. If you need to clean the sides, make sure you keep your brush wet so you can go back and clean the sides. So next, I'm going to use a smaller bead of sheer pink and place it right on top close to the cuticle area. And then I'm, I'm using my tip of the brush, press it into um, closer to the cuticle area but not too close and then I'm just drag it down and smooth it out. And 
I find that by using a sheer pink on top of the cover pink, kind of softened the look a little bit more, and I like that look better. Then I'm just taking a little small bead, and then I'm just placing on my size of the nail. So next, um, the nail is sort of drying. Uh, it's in the process of drying, but before it gets really hardened, I'm gonna go in with a pinching tool. I'm gonna pinch it to give a nice C curve. With this nail shape, it's very, um, it's essential to have a nice round C curve so the nail stays uh, long um, better and it, uh, the, for the look, it also looks better. So after the acrylic application, I'm going to pick up uh, our three-in-one uh, cut by bit. I'm going to put in our K55 handpiece and you want to lock it. This is unlock and this is lock. So you see the red together. You can try it. You see? So I'm going to turn the about uh, 15,000 RPM. First, I just want to do the surface work. I'm just going to go up and down to smooth all round shape. By doing this, so later I don't have to do too much of hand fouling. So next, what I'm going to do is go contour the cuticle area. So I'm going to taunt her skin a little bit. And you want to turn her nail to, bit to this side. So then just place your carbide bit flat to her nail and just go slowly around her cuticle area. And I'm going to just do a little smoothing out a little bit on the side. And then I'm going to take the top of the bit and just straighten her shape. Go back and forth until your length is achieved. Now I'm going to go in with our Divinity Shaper file with 100 and 180 grit. I'm just going to go straight to the size walls and smooth out the sides. So this shape, you want to go straight in on both sides. Then you're going to take the file, go under the nail and shape it on the sides. You don't want to go too close on the sides here because you want to keep that straight. You want to taper it in. Keep doing so until you're, you, you're happy with the shape. You want to taper it in to get that ballerina nail shape. And make sure the tip is blunt straight across. Then I'm going to go and fire it up and contouring the cuticle area as well as the nail. You take it all the way around, then down on the side. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a little tip here, is that with this shape, it's very critical that you need to have that round contour look of a nail. To achieve this look, you need to use the file, and when you're filing, make sure you contouring at the same time so that you have that round, nice, C-curve look. By pinching it and shaping at the same time, that's how you're going to get that nice round contour look on a nail and you get that shape that you want it because you don't want it flat. Because with, with this shape, when it's flat, it, it will break easily. So just use your file, contour around up on the side, on this side, and then bring it around and, and just pour it down. Either do that and then or take this and shape it down like this and then turn the other side around and just 
do this. So that's how you can get that nice and contour look. And then make sure you taper it in, because some you don't have to taper so much in, depends on, on your client. I like to have a little more taper in, but some people don't might not to might not want it that way. So just check with your client um, before you done with it, so they can tell you how they they would like it. And so this is the shape that I wanted. So I'm pretty happy with the shape. Then what I'm gonna do next is go back to that uh, barrel bit. I'm gonna turn it uh, about 10,000 RPM. Starting at the cuticle area, you just wanna flush in together with your nail. So you make sure the key of, to get that look is when you hold the bit, try to do it flat down. Not You don't wanna tilt your bit too much down. You wanna keep it flat with the nail and just slightly go around. And then I'm gonna go thin down the nail a little bit. And if you need to, flip it around and then clean the underneath. This for today, because I did the sculpturing with the one nail, so I don't need to do that. But usually with your return client, you do need to clean underneath the nail. So that's it. That's my final look. I'm just gonna lightly buff it again with a 100 grit. Because with, I'm gonna use UV foil, which is like a UV um, top coat. So I'm not gonna buff too smoothly. With 180 should be good enough. Just wanna smooth it out and buff it out lightly. Contour the shape again, especially the cuticle area and smooth out underneath the nail. So then you don't want to leave any sharp edges. Again, I'm just going to do the size here to keep that contour look. Okay, and that's it. So next, I'm going to take our nail cleansing solution. Just going to clean it real quick. And then I'm gonna go in with a UV Foria high gloss. And you wanna do this with all 10 nails then you can um, put in the UV lamp or LED lamp for two minutes. So there you have it guys, that's our ombre French with ballerina nail shape. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumb up. Please follow our Facebook and Twitter account as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day and I'll see you next time.